Greetings adventurer, and welcome to the Surly Nerd. Greetings adventurers, and welcome to a Surly Nerd special. That is, in the months of madness. Now, for those of you who don't follow us on our uh, Twitter page or our Facebook page or, you know, don't listen to the podcast, first off, shame on you guys. Yeah, you should be doing that. For shame. So what is In the Months of Madness? Well, to begin with, it's um, us reviewing horror movies that we love or ones that we've watched at least. (laughs) And uh, tonight is definitely a a good Mm. what we've watched, I want to say. I think we can all agree that um, this is what we've seen. This is what we have watched. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) So before we get started, of course, I am your host, James. And sitting to my right. Oh, that'd be me, Tony. And to my left. Jay. All right, guys. So we love ourselves some horror movies. And you're asking yourselves, you know, what's the big deal with this whole in the months of madness thing? Well, the quick summary is, is that uh, we love Halloween and we love horror movies. And you guys should, too. But you're saying, but James, why would you want to go ahead and start doing uh, Halloween stuff around September? Tony, why is that? Because fuck Christmas. Exactly. Our big opinion around here is that if Christmas is going to start itself up around uh, November, October, then we should take over September at least for horror stuff. Seems fair. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. This week's episode is going to be the ABCs of death. Now, typically I'd sit here and ramble off to you who the director is, who the characters were, but the ABCs of death is kind of an interesting concept in the fact that, um, well, the the ABCs of death... Oh, they had 26 different terrible directors. They did. Um, I wouldn't say all of them were terrible. No, not all of them were terrible. 26 different directors telling 26 different stories... With a budget of five thousand dollars each, yeah, about 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 that each, yeah. yeah. And so it was a great concept. As a person who grew up watching a lot of um, horror series, um, a lot of anthologies. So we had Tales from the Dark Side, we had Creep Show, we had Tales from the Crypt. Um, I, I I always loved the the uh, the anthology as a whole, and I will say I that used to. <laughs> and watching. Before we get into the hatred here, I'm going to be that I'm going to be that guy and say that uh, the ABCs of death isn't all bad. It's not all there bad. Were parts that were interesting. Okay, favorite letter. Oh man, I I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Um, Do we need a spoiler warning here? Um, I think that we should going into this, you know, spoiler. Probably, yeah, um, we're going spoilers. to learn the entire thing. It's not ruining much. <laughs> All right, so let's yeah. go ahead. This is the ABCs of death, and uh, let's talk about which letters we liked and what we didn't like. Oh, before we get started, real quick on this, um, of course, every if you haven't figured it out already, every story is based off a letter of the alphabet in some way, shape, or fashion, and sometimes they don't even use English words. They pick, like, random words from their own you, language. Quite so. a few times, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Really? So, I thought it was just the once. There was like the Japanese samurai one. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's been a couple Japanese words. Yeah. You, you are right. Yeah. 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 So, let's get started. So, the ABCs of death. We have 26 different directors, 26 different stories to tell. Are there any ones that really stood out in your head that you were like, fuck yeah, I love that? I didn't love it, but Q for Quack was the most tolerable one. So, that was the one that was kind of meta, right? And so, it yeah. was uh, them making fun of the fact they couldn't pick, mm-hmm. out, pick out something for the letter Q. Yeah, which is a little hackneyed in and of itself. It happens at least twice in that movie. It was movie. a welcome respite from toilet horror. That's like a new genre, toilet yeah, horror. Yeah, that was the only thing I distinctly remember out of all 26. There's so horrors. toilet. There's like Probably it, about half of them. Yeah. I mean, I like the, the little the claymation one that was the toilet, the kid monster toilet. Right, thing. and there was the animated one with a girl who's kind and of the, like... the poo baby. Yeah, the poo baby. I mean, yeah, I mean, weird. in general, if that you are just, a fan of stuff coming out of asses and sometimes going, going back into, asses, into the asses... Several times, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a this lot is of the movie for you. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely agree. And uh, I, for one, don't really need to have any more of that in my life. All right. So quick question. Um, conceptually, the idea of doing 26 letters, 26 separate like independent horror stories. I mean, from the get-go, that sounds like a good idea, right? I mean, that's why we watched it. Right. But, like, uh, as a theory. Right. And for, for everyone but, out there, um, 
who has had the misfortune of watching this movie on our recommendation. Which one of you do they have to blame? Oh, we didn't say it was a recommendation. We no, just yeah, said, we just said so we were we going to watch, watch it. it. So we encourage them to watch. We it encourage. With us. I encourage people to do all kinds of things just because they're stupid enough to listen to us. <laughs> Whose fault is it? <laughs> all right, so <laughs> dodging the question. Stand out. Uh, stand out letters. Things that you, the the ones you actually watched and were like, this was actually pretty good. Literally Q for quack and half of W for WTF. Okay. Yeah, because that one was just crazy. It um, started off well though. What was the the? I, I think A was pretty good. A for Apocalypse. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the very right. beginning one was very interesting. Yeah, I caught on to it about I guess two thirds the way through this segment, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I like where this is going." Yeah. So, in um, fact, I actually wanted to know more about it. I'm like, she obviously knew this was going to be going what was down. The loss like, one? oh, that one too. Um, yeah, that was okay. Because it, it, it had a, it had a message behind it. I can't remember the letter now. Yeah, though. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, there was, uh, it there was were, X for XXL. Yeah. Yes, X. There was a couple in there that actually tried to give a message, and I actually appreciated those kind of more than yeah, everything those were else. actually, I mean, well, none of the... I don't want that out of my horror. Really? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, it was V was an awesome one as well. Okay, which was, one was it, v? v? was the one with the um, R2-D2 speaking... Uh, robot that bit a baby's head off. Right. But the baby was actually a cyborg baby thing. Right, right, right. No, it was a mental. Oh. That had like psychic powers. Oh, I thought it had like weird blue robot eyes. So. No, those were its uh, psychic eyes. Oh. I just is didn't that, quite Is understand. that the name of your new band? What, Psychic Eyes? Yeah. Or, or Baby Head Eating Robot? I think either one's a really good choice. <laughs> yeah, actually. They're, they're good psychic options. Eyes is going to be our first single. Oh, there you go. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those things that having grown up with things like, you know, uh, Tales from the Crypt or Creature, um, uh, oh, God, fucking Creep Show. Yeah, creep show. Um, I love the anthologies, and there were a lot of really high points in this. I think that it also shows a very distinctive taste between different countries because it wasn't all filmed in America. There was a lot of Japanese ones, some Spanish a lot ones. Of Spanish ones. I think a um, Filipino one as well. Yeah, some Filipino which ones. Which was by far the worst. That was El Filibido, if you recall. Oh, God, that one that was one not was... good. That one disturbed me. Wow. You know, it's sad to say there are, as a big fan of horror, I love horror that really kind of terrifies me or makes me think outside the box. I don't necessarily enjoy horror that disgusts me. So, <laughs> yeah. And that was primarily what this was. Like, the, so as an example, the hills have eyes, like, there was like 80% of the movie. I'm like, okay, this is really kind of scary and tense. And there was like 20% of it that I was like, this is disgusting. And you guys are just trying too hard. And I felt like that a lot of the times in this, as I was watching it going, are you guys just, yeah. M is for miscarriage. Yeah. Like why was that even a thing? That, that was one wasn't even scary. It was just How the fuck creepy. Did that cost it, 5, creepy. it was just, it was just like disturbing for the sake of being disturbing. Mm-hmm. Um, there's actually a really good, um, Tony, you and I are fans of the master of horror series. Yeah. It's and if my, you, it's our not anthology. Oh, yeah. yeah. And if you watch that series, there's, um, several of the episodes that were cut from the, it was aired on Showtime originally, I believe? Uh, yes, there's a Showtime Yeah, it was series. aired on Showtime originally, and there were several that were cut from it because they were considered too extreme. And one of them was, I want to say Japanese, I might be mistaken, and the first half of the episode is literally a girl like washing her miscarriages away in the river. And I was like, this isn't, this isn't horror to me, this is... A, a, that's a sad situation that you're in. Like, why are you making this a, a horror-based thing? Hmm. You know, um, and I felt also be cultural horror that we don't necessarily. Understand. That's very true. There were several yeah. times that, um, especially that Z, was possibly um, yeah. the the last le- the letter Z in ABCs of Death um, was quite possibly the most nonsensical, fucked up, random thing I've seen. And I thought W, which was for what the fuck. Mm. was probably the most random and nonsensical thing I'd seen in a very long time. You didn't have to wait long. Yeah, it, it <laughs> was very true. For it to be Pure best. nonsense to what the fuck nonsense. Yeah, <laughs> And again, it might be cultural. I mean, these might be things that were considered kind of horrific in you know, the places that they're going to mm. be aired in, but here we're just kind of staring at it blankly going... Like P know. for pressure. What the fuck? Yeah, that is the entire thing. So I don't want to dwell on this too long, guys. I feel like... Um, I'm sorry that we encourage you to watch this. This was our, our kickoff to the whole thing. I honestly, again, I, I, I do want to watch the second one. Like they're going to do another ABCs of death and 
I feel like there's some really good quality like horror pieces that are presented in there. It just really sucks that they get f- kind of filtered into a whole lot of awkward or bad. Or- we're not even talking about the filmmaking aspect of this, how these were probably the worst shot and acted and edited pieces and the music was just abysmal throughout every single Oh, not one. in all of them. The that f- last most one. of them. Yeah. The, the, the Z with the Japanese music, that yeah. was pretty awesome. Yeah. But in general... Well, I mean, of- when you've got like a $5,000 budget, can you really go ahead and... You can do some amazing things with a very low budget. That's especially very Especially if you're only having to record for about four minutes. Right. I think the biggest thing is a lot of them are completely without dialogue because they couldn't get a hold of actors that could deliver dialogue well. You can get someone to pull a couple expressions, go through the motions. Mm-hmm. Oh, like the creepy pedophile. I do, think it was, creepy. I, I do think it was interesting because they did such a wide range of things. It wasn't just, hey, 26 directors with a... 35 millimeter camera and do and have something happen. You saw, you know, claymation, you saw furries yeah, animation. Yeah, there was live action furries. Um, there was live action furries. That will be an endorsement for some people. Yeah. And, uh, it was a very Should interesting, never be. interesting concept <laughs> of, um, Britain versus Nazi Germany, essentially. It was the mm-hmm. whole point of that one. And again, there were times where no matter how bad the actual episode was, I could see that they were actually trying to give a message and I could respect them for that, even though the episode was bad, but I still respect (laughs) they were actually trying to do something with it. So I I applaud them for trying to change and make something new and unique. Yeah. That they definitely tried to do that. So congratulations. Yeah, we'll end it on a positive note. (laughs) So, so again, they're doing ABCs of death too, or either you guys going to want to watch that and give it a shot. I don't think I do. I don't think I'd go to the draft house to watch it. Okay. Might just watch it online. If it's on Netflix. Sure. Yeah. If it it comes on Netflix and I feel like torturing people and twilight isn't available. I'll (laughs) put that on. Well, they might have better directors now. I mean, if this is done well, has it done well? Mm, I mean, yeah. It didn't get the best reviews. In fact, we're giving it a review now, and <laughs> it's not getting the best of ones. Not the best of reviews. All right, guys, this is our first episode of In the Month of Madness. This was the ABCs of Death, and it's kind of a downer right now. I feel like we're starting on a shitty movie. We're starting on a shitty movie. The next one's gonna be good, though. But hang with us because uh, our next episode is something that Jay picked out specifically, <laughs> not to spoil anything. But what is the name of the title? It is a hammer horror movie called Vampire Circus. All right, guys. We will see you guys on the YouTubes. Tony, what they sh- what should they do? Where can they find us? Um, you should click subscribe down at the bottom of the thing. Um, <laughs> or like this- the video. It's like right next to the subscribe button. Um, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Surly Nerd. You can uh, also Twitter us at the Surly Nerd. That's our Twitter account. And um, go to our website, thesurlynerd.com, where you can uh, stream all of our episodes. And uh, check us out here on YouTube. Watch our silliness as it plays out. Yeah, do comment. We've actually been comments getting some comments. Comments are so, nice. Yeah. We like those. Yeah, we do. Guys, from all of us here in shitty horror movie land, to all <laughs> of you out there in YouTube world, until next time, good night and good game. <laughs>